with the most recent changes to Top Tree Dawnblade and the new perk Celestial Fire, this opens up a lot of options for older exotics to get some time in the spotlight. Before we talk about today's exotic, let's first take a look at Celestial Fire in action for those who have yet to experience it or even see it in the game. This is a new perk that allows you to melee from a distance, similar to Chaos Reach's subclass melee, but I feel like Celestial Fire is a bit more aggressive. Celestial Fire's perk reads, sends out a spiral of three explosion solar energy blasts. Each one of those blasts is going to deal 35 damage to the enemy guardian, totaling 105 if you land all three blasts, which for the most part you will land all three blasts due to its aggressive tracking. Now, trying to get the most out of this perk, we're going to be pairing this with Karnstein Armlets. Yes, guys. Karnstein armlets. A lot of people haven't seen this exotic since you know the year one, D2 year one. This is gonna get a lot of playtime this season, and we're gonna talk about why. The exotic perk on these gauntlets are gonna be Vampire's Caress. Melee kills instantly restore a large amount of health and continue to restore health afterwards for a short duration. Now, Vampire's Caress lasts approximately seven to eight seconds, as you can see in the time code at the bottom, which overall the healing is similar to as if you were standing in a rift. Again, you will see it in the footage. You see these enemies here, uh, PvE enemies, dealing damage to me, and I'm slowly getting my life back, which is similar to or resembles a healing rift. Now, what I like about this exotic is you do not need a full melee charge. I found myself benefiting from this even when I didn't have Celestial Fire charge ready to go. A shotgun cleanup melee will activate Vampire's Caress, allowing you to play a little more aggressive. I found myself utilizing this perk here, Celestial Fire paired with Carnison Armlets, being able to activate Vampire's Caress and be more aggressive on every play, knowing that I had my health coming back over and over and over, I was able to be more aggressive. And not only that, when I saw enemies low health, enough to clean them up with the melee, I would just melee my Celestial Fire from a distance, get Vampire's Caress to proc, and press into the enemy so overall great synergy there one way you can get the most out of this exotic and celestial fire is to run it with a high impact hand cannon such as the duke dealing 91 crit damage with a high impact hand cannon and clean up with celestial fire of the 105 damage will not only give you the kill but it will begin vampire's crest in a split second headshot melee boom you're gonna proc it I also ran this with strength mods which reduced my melee cooldown to 41 seconds. There are other ways to run this. You can run this whatever way you want. One way you could run this that's going to have a lot of synergy going on is going to be running this with the Monte Carlo. The Monte Carlo, getting the kill with the Monte Carlo is going to randomly give you a full melee charge or if not lower the cooldown of your melee. And by doing so, you will be able to utilize Celestial Fire frequently, proccing Vampire's Caress. And on top of that, you'll be able to have your health coming back, getting kills with the Monte Carlo, proccing Markov Chain, which is the Monte Carlo's exotic perk, which is going to give you bonus damage, allowing you to get more kills with the Monte Carlo, allowing you to get your full melee charge back, proccing Celestial Fire, Vampire's Caress, Synergy through the roof. Overall, a great pair. I personally found a lot of use for this exotic and celestial fire paired together. I found it saving me more often than not. I can honestly say that for this season, it is going to be top tier. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying this exotic out. Please let me know if you found a lot of success with this exotic. I would love to know. Overall, top tier option in my opinion. Do me a huge favor. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to drop that like. Everybody, right now, YouTube stopped recommending me for some odd reason, but we're going to beat this system. Thank you so much for the support, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, did you enjoy the video? Click right there for a random video. Click right there for my latest video. Stay up to date with Bravex Hero. If you haven't followed me on Twitch, I recommend it. Go do it right now. Twitch.tv slash Bravex Hero. New to the channel? Subscribe button right there. Click it. Do it. Do it now. I'll see you guys in the next video.